The Storyteller's Map and Cards help children to think deeply about their life experiences. They help children to think about what they feel and what they sense when they go about their day-to-day -day activities. The Map and Cards help you to support children to write in descriptive detail about what they do day to day. The Storyteller's Map and Cards support children to have a voice. A quality letter is not about producing a long letter. A quality letter is about attention to detail. Children will be more aware and connected to their life experience and confident to express their thoughts and feelings. The end result is you will improve your facilitation. Children develop communication skills and are confident to express themselves. Quality letters and drawings are produced and children and sponsors are more excited by their communication. Circle time is a great, fun way to start a session with children. It helps children to start thinking about themselves and sharing this information with others. There are three stages to using the map and cards. One, look and think. Show children the map. Two, talk and listen. Encourage children to speak for themselves. Three, write and draw. Pick one or two cards and write down thoughts and conversations. Remember, the aim is for children to lead the conversations. Don't tell the child what they see or what they should write. Look and think. Key tips. Don't rush children. Let them explore it first and make a connection. Don't tell children what they see. Let them think for themselves. Don't step in too quickly. Make sure it's child-led. Talk and listen. Key tips. Ask the children, what do you see? Let the children share their ideas by speaking out. Once they have said what they think the pictures mean, you can point out what each picture is meant to represent. For example, this is play, family, work, etc. Then you can call out a topic, for example food, and ask a child to come and point to which picture this is. Go through all the topics including senses and feelings. This will reinforce the children's learning. Ask the child or group to pick a topic. Then give them that card to look at. There is more detailed artwork to inspire deeper thinking. Write and draw. Key tips. So, what makes a good letter? Detail, detail, detail. It's better to write about one or two topics in detail than picking many and writing briefly. For example, a child may write, I go to school, then I come back home, I eat, then I play, then I do jobs, then I sleep. What does this tell us about the child's personality and their life experience? Can I imagine what school life is like? What they eat? Where they play? No. Stories should not be a list of actions. Too many topics are covered without saying anything. When the child says, I go to school, I would ask, how? They may say, by walking. I would ask, what can you sense on your journey? And they may say, I can see people working in the fields, collecting foods for the animals. I can hear birds singing and the horns of the motorbikes and cars blowing. I can feel the dust of the dirt road in between my toes. I would ask, how do you feel when you are going to school? They may say, happy because I love to learn, but sad because the school is very far and I wish I had a bike to get there faster. Remember, thinking and talking about senses and emotions is probably new. You will need to remind children to think about how they feel and what they sense as they write. If the child is working on the map, then ask them to take time to look at the monkey faces and senses and think about how they feel and what they sense as an ongoing process when they think and write. 
You can also ask them key prompt questions. How do you feel? What do you sense? Whilst the child works on the map, the facilitator holds the topic card for the child to see to inspire the child as they write. Do not tell the child what to write. If the child is responding to a letter from a sponsor, the cards can be used to answer questions. For example, do you celebrate Christmas? You can use the festival card. If the child cannot think of what to write, then use the questions on the back of the card. Try not to rely too much on these questions. You can use the sentence openers for children who struggle to write. Ask key prompt questions based upon what the child has chosen to talk about. Key prompts. Why? How? Describe. How do you feel? What do you sense? The aim should be to amplify children's voices. Every storytelling session gives children the opportunity to voice what they have written. Encourage children to present their stories to the wider group and community members that are present. Encourage the audience to give the storyteller a round of applause. Praising and encouraging children is vital for their development. This inspires children to believe in themselves and shows what they have to say is really important and is valued by others. Even more vital is that we respond actively to what is voiced. The more times children use the map on cards, the easier it becomes. The first session takes longer because they're exploring the pictures for the first time and are trying to understand what it all means. The next time that they use the map on cards, the first two stages are a lot faster and they start writing and drawing sooner. The more they use the map on cards, the quicker they think. With practice, they will become more creative in thinking and writing. Group work is a great way to learn how to use the map on cards. Problem solving. How do you facilitate child-led conversations? Okay, observe at a distance and ask timely prompt questions when the child comes to the end of a sentence or hits writer's block. Don't go through the questions on the back of the cards one by one be more fluid and child-led. It's better to work with the child's ideas and ask key prompt questions to go deeper and encourage children to think independently and express themselves. The questions are there as a form of support, not to structure stories. Child-led conversations mean that the child leads the direction of the conversation. How do you make sure the stories are different? There is a storyteller's log. You can date and tick off topics to avoid repeating the same information and ideas. Also, the question card can be used to create a random element to stories. Simply pick a question to ask. What if the child finds it difficult to write? You can give the child sentence openers to help them start writing. The storyteller's guide provides sentence openers for each topic. If children are not able to write, then write for them exactly as they speak. It is really important that the child's tone and voice is written down. I work with 200 children. What if I don't have enough time to get the stories? Work with children in groups and use talk partners. You will save time if you get a group of children together rather than working one to one. First, ask a group of children to look and think about the map and cards then talk about their experiences. Don't worry about writing at first. Get children voicing their stories. The next session, you can introduce the third stage, writing and drawing. If you support children to help each other, they can talk amongst themselves about creative ideas. One can write and the others support them by showing the card and talking about their experiences, senses and feelings. The more children work together, the less need for a support worker. This is called peer learning. What if the children don't understand the emotions? The storyteller's guide reveals each emotion shown by the monkey face. Learn what they are and think of examples to represent each one to give to the children. For example, I felt embarrassed when I fell off my bike. 
Don't avoid exploring emotions, as including emotional truth make very powerful stories. Okay, to recap. Start with a circle time game. Go through the three stages, look and think, talk and listen, write and draw. Let children take a lead, thinking, talking, writing for themselves. Don't tell children what to write, ask them key prompt questions when they need support. Remind children to think and write about their emotions and senses. Use group work, talk partners and peer learning to make the most of everyone's time. The more everyone uses it, the quicker it becomes and the quality keeps on getting better and better. In the end, children become great storytellers with excellent communication skills, creating moments of magic. Friends, family, community and sponsors' lives become enriched by this window into their world. This is Somi's story using the map and cards. I get up from sleep at 4am and then I enjoy the fresh air in the morning and I brush my teeth. I wash my face after brushing my teeth and then I start my study. I study up to 8am and then I have my breakfast. Then I take my bath and go to school. We two brothers go to school at 9am. Our school is 5 kilometres far away. We go to school and come back by our bicycle together. When we go to school, we see many things beside the road. Shops and also in the village farm of Betterleaf. Our teacher loves us very much because we give our daily homework. That's why they love us. My favourite subject is English because I want to be a doctor in future so that I may give treatment to the sick people. I want to be a respected man by reading this English. I take bath after coming from school and play with my friends for one hour. Then I come back to my home. Then I wash my face, feet and hands and then I study for myself. After studying up to 8pm, I take dinner with my parents. Then again I study. I study up to 9pm, then I go to sleep. I help my father to work in the field. Sometimes I also help my mother in kitchen work. For example, I give the firewood in the oven. Sometimes I bring water. 